management and staff of the of good uh, raw materials, research and development council, and the Federal Ministry of Science and Technology. Uh, I join the Honorable Minister of State in commending the Raw Materials Research and Development Council for the contributions, the enormous contributions that we continue to make uh, in the development of our great nation. I, I must use this opportunity to especially thank the Honorable Minister of State for his uh, dedication and uh, duty because uh, our ministry has been working around the clock, uh, not minding that uh, there is this uh, lockdown. Uh, you may be surprised to hear that even officials of the ministry have worked on Saturdays and Sundays just to make sure uh, that uh, we make contributions to this finding solutions to this very important problem, confronting not just our great nation, but also uh, the whole world. This is a facility receipt, and uh, we come with dots to see what uh, the raw materials and uh, research and government council, their contributions to nation building, because they are enormous. Uh, you just mentioned just a few in the area of uh, drug uh, manufacturing and production. But we come here to see what you can do very quickly to help us uh, make contributions in finding solutions uh, to the problem of uh, COVID-19. And I must say that we are very impressed, exceptionally impressed, with your effort to go into the wild and get a tuber uh, that from which we've been able to extract uh, pharmaceutical grade starch. This is a very important contribution that you have made because uh, we can use cassava, we can use maize corn, uh, to do this, but uh, you decided that it is better we go and use something that is not edible, uh, but also available uh, in our country that can give us this pharmaceutical grade start, which we have been spending billions of naira to import. And for the treatment of COVID-19 patients, they need drugs. And the base for these drugs is starch. So this is a major contribution. And uh, on behalf of the Honorable Minister of State, we thank you so much for this. I would like to use this opportunity to get the Raw Material Research and Development Council to do something uh, that is very important for our nation. Today, the recommendation of both our Honorable Minister of Health and the Director General of NCDC, the Nigerian Center for Disease Control, and the Presidential Task Force is that, as they are recommending, that we use face masks. And we can't continue to be putting everything into the country. This will put a lot of strain on our resources, particularly foreign exchange resources. So we would like to direct the raw material research and development country because we are satisfied that we have high quality scientists in this council, in so many of the departments that can do this for the nation. We want you to go take this face mask that I am wearing, look at it carefully, study it, analyze it, and design it. 
Desire one that is even unique. In designing it, you look at the textile materials that are used both inside and outside, whatever number of layers, and then ensure that the open space will be such that will not admit this dangerous virus, which is the SARS-CoV-2 virus that causes the COVID-19 disease. This, I believe, that once you can do it, and then you work with other agencies, other agencies with similar mandates to standardize it, because that is the key. We need a design, we need to have standards, and with that standard will be one that is that conforms with the World Health Organization standard for face masks. Once you can do this, then we believe very strongly that the, our entrepreneurs, the organized private sector, should be in a position to now produce this mass in large quantities to meet the needs of Nigerians, not just for today, but also for tomorrow. And we should also be in a position to now export you know, this mass to other people, other countries. First, within our own uh, West African region, you know, the rest of Africa, in respect to the African continental free trade area agreements, and then the rest of the world. And this is how we can diversify our economy. So I think that this is a, a, a directive that we are giving to the, this council. And we believe that this council can do it. And we want to assure you that the Federal Ministry of Science and Technology, the Honorable Minister of State, is here with me. And the Department Secretary is waiting for us in the office. All of us are united. We will give you every support. We will give you every support to make sure that this is done. And we believe very strongly that this will be very useful to our nation because it's going to help us in creating jobs. You can imagine the Manufacturing Association of Nigeria will be excited because the government subsector they have the capacity you know, to do this. Those jobs will be jobs that are created in Nigeria and the wealth will be wealth that will also be in our country. And this will help to boost our gross domestic product. So in every area you look at it, it's a win-win situation. So once more, we thank you for all that you've done, particularly with this uh, start going into our bush and taking this uh, caca plant, I understand that is the name, uh, this plant that anybody looking at it feels that it's of no economic value, but yet you have shown that it's very important and a lot of businesses can now come out of it. So many people can start growing this uh, wild, uh, wild uh, tuber and the processing it. So we thank you and we believe very strongly that this council will take this charge we are giving to you seriously and within the next few weeks we will come up with a design in conformity with World Health Organization uh, standards that can help us to mass produce face masks in Nigeria. Thank you so much.